Hi programmers, it's Thursday night. I decided I would uh, stay home and do a few things and make a tutorial. So we're going to continue on with our print portion of it. And um, I right now, put that there, we're going to move our quit button up close to here. Okay, first off. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create some labels. We're going to throw some labels on the board. Uh, one. Um, we'll, we'll start with just that. It, and, we, and I can neaten it up later. And this here, we're just going to put text. I don't care what the name of the label is. And it's current week. Uh oh. And that's, you know, the current week so that, you know, a person would know what week it is. And then the next one is, um, we need a text box. Where is that bagger? Here it is. We need a text box. Now we do care what this one is. I, I think I'm going to put a colon behind here. And then this text box, we're going to call this um, C-U-R-W-K. C-U-R-W-K text box and I, I guess that's okay. I, later I'll make it smaller. We need another couple labels. And this one we're going to say, make the text um, week number range. Range. And I was going to say two. And then this is going to say um, employee number range. These, I do a lot of reports. Today I was doing one. You know, they have stuff on the menu they can run if they want to, but my users, I've got them spoiled. They don't. They just call me and I, you know, do something for them. Well, I wrote this little report to collect some, you know, sales of an item number so that they could pay royalties on some books. And <laughs> he wrote me back and said, you look at these numbers? And I said, no. I said, I run that report all the time for you. And apparently... I had a right print in the wrong place, and boy, that was a pretty big sales. I'm going to make that box smaller. I'm going to make it iffy. See how that looks. I think that looks good. And then we're going to copy that. Paste. Paste. I'm going to do four, two more. Paste. Paste. And then we'll put one here, and one here, and one here, and one here. We got to come up with names for these boxes. This box is going to be begin B E G W K text box. And this is going to be end week text box. This one here is going to be, I might make that a little bigger because it's for four digits. Uh, B E G E M P, beginning employee text box. And then this one's going to be end employee. Uh oh. Text box. Now I'm going to check all the names too. Okay, current week text box. Begin week text box. End week text box. I probably wouldn't need to really check these tabs off, so I can worry about that later. 
skin imp text box and imp text box. Okay, now we're going to want two more of these. Copy, paste. This is to hold some data. Okay. And that's called begin date text box. That's to print on the report. It's just a little holder for me. I might have could done that differently, but we'll keep it like this for now. I might want to change it up, you know, like, but anyway, because a lot of that on the print, it already has arguments and stuff on the line, and so like, you know, I don't like passing extra stuff. I would just soon put it as a, at a, in a hidden text box on the form that no one could see, and that way it could be used anywhere. And so we decided this is going to be B-E-G-D-A-T-E -E text box. And this other one's going to be end date text. Uh oh. I'll leave that there because we are going to. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do that or not. I can't remember. Delete. Cut. Uh huh. And this one here, we're just going to call it. Uh, end date text box okay I'm going to save these I'm going to see if it will compile it might not after that thing uh, problem I just did okay that's good sometimes if you do that and you get it immediately you know it's okay it's whenever you did it. Now, there's one other thing I decided we was going to try. I didn't do this in my other one, but I decided we. I did want to do it here. Now, what's that called? That is called Tab Control Selected Index Change. We're going to find that because I want to um, select it index change. I do want that, and I'm going to do this code. It's not, I'm going to have to change it because this is from a different program. It'll just ha save a little bit of typing for me. Copy. Because whenever we go to the uh, that file folder, I want it to display the current week. You know, on this program originally I had done it, I did it in the load, but you know, potentially um, they could. This program could be running a long time without being turned down off. Not everyone, you know, turns off their computers every day. We have computers like the time cop clock computer it's just you know months on in now let's go back here and see which index this was because I cannot remember um, I think he's one two three four five so he was five so tab page five and I took the default line we're gonna say if on that one we're gonna get the current week and put it in that label and I read that somewhere Save me typing it. Copy. Paste. Okay, let's see if I, when we go there, if we have the current week. It should be 550 something, I believe. There it is, 552. Okay. Um, we, we've worked a lot today. I guess we can work a little bit more. We'll, um, anyway, I'm going to put this on pause, and then I'll decide if I'm going to do any more, and if I don't, I'm going to just go ahead and turn it off.